Hello everyone, Mario Bros. 94 here, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Generation. In the last episode, we finished up and started the game, and we realized that Sonic's friends and company got kidnapped for a reason, and we rescued Tails and finished up Green Hill Zone. In this episode, we're going to go to this level, which is from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Basically, this, well, I will tip it, is basically explaining that you can switch X. However, I'm going to go in order because reasons, because of because I'm a nerd, pretty much. And basically this level is, well, as soon as it loads, this is Chemical Plant from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which, something I should mention though, is that I forgot to talk about at the end of last episode, is that the reason why Tails said that Green Hill Zone didn't look familiar to him is basically because he didn't make his debut in the Sonic series until Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is the game this, where this level is from. And what's that game? <laughs> This is not Sonic the Hedgehog 2, it's the Sonic Generation. Ow. Okay, so let's see. Oh, there's a red ring. Got it. I believe I already explained red rings. Yeah, I did know. Alright, let's go. That, that, springs everywhere. And dash panels. Ow. Get the rings, checkpoint, mace. So I guess I could talk about... I don't think I've, I've explained this yet about these... My opinions on the Sonic Boom designs. But... Basically when those were first released, they, people got mixed opinions on it. Basically because of the length of the characters, basically the designs. Especially Knuckles new design. Good lord. What did they do to Knuckles? I'm like, what the hell did they do to Knuckles? Like, seriously. No, I want that spring. Whatever, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Um I don't think I don't think I can actually get that spring, unfortunately. Maybe, but it's kinda of finicky. Yeah, screw it. I think that's some way to get to that platform. Oh another red ring. Two red rings around the back, good lord. And basically, uh, back to the Sonic Boom designs. People were kind of mixed on the Sonic Boom designs when they first released because a former Night Dog developers are making the game. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. Anyway, this is the first, not really water level, but water section. And a little bit tidbit that I would that I am going to talk about is that when Sega was originally supposed to make Sonic that they didn't realize they thought hedgehogs could swim. Hence the countdown and the reason that Sonic needs, needs air in order to stay in the water. But they should have done research where hedgehogs can actually swim. Cutely I might add. And yeah, Sega you should have done your research. That's all I have to say about that. Should've done you. How did I not get hit? I guess I must have exploded? Hmm. That was sort of a weird glitch, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's go here. Yep, there was a red ring. I'm kinda like OCD on the red rings. There we go. That one wasn't that bad to get, thankfully. Okay. Now let's continue here. And basically, the Sonic Boom designs were basically... People had very mixed opinions on them. After seeing them for so long, uh, I've kind of grown on them, I'm not gonna lie. Knuckles' new design, is, I think, is still really weird, but... Other than that, Amy's, Amy's design looks really good. Tails didn't change much except for the belt. Except for that little tool, tool belt he has, like the wrench and stuff. And I got another S rank. I approve. Okay. So now that classic Sonic of Chemical Plant is completed, we can now do modern. Uh, modern Chemical Plant. I was at, I thought say Green Hill Zone. No, this isn't Green Hill Zone, this is Chemical Plant. 
It's a linear collection group. Yeah, it's basically where you get items like artwork and song and music. They actually did add music from uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, I believe, if memory serves. Nice. Okay, so now we will switch to Modern Sonic to Modern Chemical Plant. And Modern Chemical Plant isn't that bad, I don't think. And yeah, there. I think those are multiple pathways. I'm not sure on that. Okay, so let's see here. Get these rings boost. I think there's a spring you would have to jump on there to get to that. Not entirely positive. And basically, YouTube user, uh, I gotta, re I gotta look this up because I just know that I'm gonna butcher it. YouTube user Andreas basically said, I think he basically tweeted at me basically saying, it's, you think I would like the uh, Sonic Generations mod, especially Project Unleashed, because, because basically said that I would be amazed, and I'm like, okay, but I haven't checked those out yet because I've been focused on original generations, pretty much, but unfortunately for this, Let's play in general. The frame rate is kind of all over the place. Yeah, apologies. Like seriously. Uh, I don't know how you would get that red ring. I think you need a very well timed jump. I think. Yeah, that would boost. Or how many attack? Maybe. Yes. Yeah, screw uh, it. I'm not gonna get it. That one can be one of the more annoying ones to get in this level. That pink water, though. Ow! Jeez. Okay. And basically, what I said about Sonic Boom earlier is that basically it's its own can- no, it's not really cannon, but in order- yeah, basically in order to kick that block you need to, like, be near it. At first I thought you had to, like, boost him to it, which was weird. But, oh well. It's not that big of a deal. Basically, you need to hit that switch in order to on. Spring. That ain't really smart, though. Oh god, that red ring. Especially since there's an enemy here. Sonic, will you get up there? Look at. I hate where that enemy is placed. There we go. Get it? Nice. And. fall down and die. Thankfully, that the pink water isn't instant kill water, or death water, as Proton John said in one of his LPs of a Kaiser Mario ROM hack. Which, thank the lord that is not death water, or else we would be here a while, pretty much. Thankfully, it's just normal water. Reskin of it? No. And then we have going down a tube of water slightness, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to say about this section. It's basically going down a water slide. Weird? Eh, it's kind of a good point. And then we have this section. In this section, I believe there is a red ring. Or a red star ring, I should actually call it, but it's like I should have said red ring. Like in Mario, when I say red coins instead. Yeah, basically, you've got the red star ring in there. Red coin. Oh. Ah! Red coin. Star ring. Jesus, that's gonna, that's gonna take a while to get used to. <laughs> okay. Go. And let's see. Oh, Jesus. I was getting really nervous just then because I. Not gonna lie, I legitimately thought that there was gonna be a bomb with Pit. Okay, so let's attack you. Okay, so far so good. Surprised I made it up there before it switched. Thought I was gonna get hit there, thankfully I did not. Okay, so let's continue. Oh boy. Good thing I wait. Whoa, hell well. Momentum. Momentum much? Jeez. Okay, now we boost. Thankfully this. Sir? Wookie Jin reference for the win. 
Oh uh, jeez, uh, I think there might be a red, red star ring up there. Although I might be wrong. Yeah, I think there might be a red star ring up there, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I skipped that section because of reason. Uh, what else can I talk about? Good one. I guess I could talk about probably some of the worst Tales voice actors since I talked about the best at the end of last episode. The worst Tales voice actors. Uh, crap, I forgot the names. Uh, we're basically the ones from Sonic Heroes and the voice actor for the voice actor from the uh, Sonic OVA. We're probably we're were the worst Sonic voice or not Sonic Tails voice actors in history. Especially in Heroes, because my god Tails voice actor in Heroes was just uh cringe worthy. I mean yes, he's a kid, he's eight, but still. The voice that the child voice actor gave Tails just did not fit him at all. My god. It did not fit him at all. The Sonic OVA one was... Eh? And basically we need to fully attack that crane, which is weird? I don't know. Basically a nice little shortcut. Okay, so let's do this. And... I think I could... No. I don't think you could grind on that rail, but I'm not sure. Spring. I believe there's a red ring up there. I'm not entirely sure. Red rings are kinda hidden. Pretty much. Especially if you don't know where to look. Come on, why not stop losing? Okay, red sick ring, and there we go. That's the end of the stage. And I believe I got a an A maybe. No a B. Okay. How close was I get to getting an A? Oh my god, I never mind. 37 seconds off in this. Yeah, that's understandable. That is completely understandable. Sonic! Tails! This chemical plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. And that pink water makes me really nervous for some reason. You're right, Tails. This place has given me deja vu all over again. Apparently Tails doesn't like that pink water, though. But anyways, we have finished Modern Chemical Plant, and here is the next saving character. Uh oh, Amy. Oh, Amy, Amy. Always want Sonic, now do you? And basically, it's very weird that Amy's the safe character for Chemical Plant because I believe she didn't make her debut until Sonic CD, which is really weird, I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Basic not played Sonic CD, so I can't give my opinions on it because I... Anyways, I think I'm gonna end this off here, so it's my Bros. 94th, but let's play Sonic Generation. See you guys next time, we'll head into this level, which is from Sonic 3 and Knuckle. You guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!